this is history. It, uh, it, it happened before. Uh, I cannot change it. Israel was, was established uh, in 1948. Uh, Zionist uh, true, uh, tribes uh, started kicking Palestinians out of their land. Uh, there was a resistance. There was a resistance from the Arabic countries. They failed. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a war that started against Israel. Yeah, yeah, a war. A war started against Israel. But not by the Palestinians. Uh, that's my point. Is no, no, no. Not by, by, by countries. No, by no, countries. No. By countries. Wait, they did host, not want can to I ask you a question? Can I ask the host something real quick? Host, would you mind yes. bringing a friend of mine up, Echo? Um, if you don't want. Oh my God, um, Echo. <laughs> yeah, Echo is nice. No, oh, he's not okay. nice. He's not nice. He's using different agendas. Oh, he's very nice. Echo, you're going to be respectful, right? Because this host is amazing. I haven't even spoken okay. to this guy. Why is he I saying no oh, Echo? Apparently, we we're, you apparently you and I you are popular me? in Israel. Sahar said that you and I are popular specifically. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, go but ahead. Sorry. Sahar, yeah, the UN plan was a non-binding recommendation which is why for example the jewish agency was the only organization at the time which recognized it as legally binding no other country except i believe the ussr after 49 recognized it as legally binding most countries did not recognize it so it was not a legally binding document it was a leak it was a non-legally binding recommendation and by the way with the case of middle eastern jews no it's a fact that there was an agreement between the israeli government and the al sayyid government in Iraq to airlift hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of Jews to Israel through Iran and Cyprus. So all of these things are uh, very well documented. And when you say, oh, well, I didn't kick you out. Arabs started the war before five Arab armies attacked on May 15th. What happened before that? Adam already mentioned to you, for example, Deir Yassin, Tantora, all of these, like uh, the ones committed by the Alexandrani Brigade, all of them were before Echo, May 15th. Basha, I'm going to drop you down. Basha, I'm going to drop you down. Thank you for nope. coming up. Uh, Sahar, if you see another Israeli that you want, would like yes, to bring yes. up in the box, Arab if there's somebody in, in the, uh, Can you add the SF? guest request. Can you add SF? Who? SF, please. Okay, hold on. Just I, I'd like for it to stay even. Stanians, if I could. SF. SF. Yeah, just the letter S and the letter F. Thank you. Just a second. Anyways, how is everyone doing today? We are doing good. How are you doing? Amazing. I'm actually starving. Like literally dying of hunger. I'm so. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. And I'm staying up until six in the morning to go on these lives. Can't believe it. Dude, it's six in the morning here too. It's okay. Uh, Sahar, I don't see an SF. Can you ask him to uh, send a guest request? Uh, he has a green profile picture. Hey, T7. Do you, do you not see him? I don't see an SF, no. It's, I, see it's an okay. I see an SO. No, it's not SO. Never mind. It's okay. You don't have to. You don't have to get an. If there's another Israeli in the live that wants to join that speaks English well, please join. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Sahab, what response do you have to the points we made? Listen, um, I have one. I have one clarification to make. That um, I think that your definition of a Zionist and my definition of a Zionist are Hello? very different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. We have another. I'm an Israeli. We have another. Israeli. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think I think that your point of a Zion your definition of a Zionist and my definition of a Zionist are very different. Um, mm -hmm. And I want to tell you that that according to our definition, being a Zionist is just that the uh, our rightful um, our rightful uh, right to go back to our ancestral homeland, which was here three thousand years ago. What proves it? Coins, archaeological archaeological findings, uh, mm -hmm. scriptures, and, and you know, if it, it, it's like just it just it's just like kicking the, the Native Americans from. The United States, and okay, then three thousand years later, they come back and they say, "Hey, this is our home." Do you do you agree that they have a home in the United that, States? Sorry, is that what early Zionists or Zionists from the beginning defined Zionism as? Yes, Showing. Sahar. But uh, what, what did Herzl? What did Herzl like define Zionism as? Claim on either That's side of Judaism or um, uh, Islam, because I don't think that's like backed up by science. Like, yeah, I'm Jewish. 
And yeah, I'd love to say that Israel is the Holy Land, but I think it should be shared. But historically, it was given to Israel and Palestine was given the West Bank. And then after Palestine uh, said that they didn't like that idea, we gave them the Gaza Strip and that's where most missiles are actually launched. Okay, that's not necessarily what happened. But by the way, Sahar, my main objection to what your claim about Zionism is, is the fact that whatever definition you're going off of didn't exist up until the last few decades, right? When Zionism started as a movement, this is not what it was defined as. When you see Herzl's writings, you can see clearly what it meant. When you see the World Zionist Congress talk about what Zionism is, very simply put, it is the establishment of a Jewish state in Palestine. That's it explanation for what Zionism is. The definition of, a Zion, of Zionism is a movement for the re-establishment and the development and the protection of a Jewish nation in what is now known as Israel. It was established, exactly as, a, said, it was established as a political organization in 1987 under Theodore Herzl. Even though, in, 18, in 1897. Even and though it was established later led by Wiesman. Yeah, I got this definition. I'm familiar with it. Hold on, hold on. If, if, that, if that was the definition, if that was the definition of, of Zionism, mm -hmm. I can promise to you that even before this Zionist movement um, um, was created, I can I can promise to you that Jews always dreamt about going back to their homeland. And it, I'm not against it's, that. It's written. It's written in the Bible. It's it's written in, okay, in many Sahar. books. Yes, I understand it, that, in, but you need to understand this one thing first of all, right? I'm an atheist, so when you give me religious perspectives, they don't really matter too much to me, right? But, but it's you ignoring the facts. Yeah, it's you ignoring the facts. I'm, I'm not ignoring the facts. I'm just throwing religion aside. But if we were going to go off of that and say, hey, these people have always wanted to come back. And what, like, sorry, what aspect of what we've said says, hey, no Jew is ever allowed to come back. Was there a Palestinian opposition or, you know, disagreement with, say, Sephardic Jews arriving in Palestine in 1493? No. Was there an objection to also Sephardic Jews? And Mizrahi is coming back after the Crusaders. No, mm -hmm. there wasn't an objection to that. When you see the objection go on is in the 1800s, specifically the late 1800s, when you see people arriving with the explicit role of establishing a state over a people which already exist here. The people that already exist here were yeah. Jews, Muslims, and Christians. Meaning uh, the Jews already are, uh -huh. already had a home here. Just yeah, alongside, the majority uh, of along, Jews did not exist alongside, here. Alongside with the Muslims and the Christians. The Jews I agreed, agreed that, to that, but the majority of them were the not Jews, here. The, G, the Jews agreed to a two-state solution. The Palestinians did not That's agree. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking what part of what we said the nice Jews, for example, a religious claim to the land. Because I'm like me personally, I don't care. Honestly, if Jews want to do pilgrims, that, that personally doesn't matter to me, right? But the objection historically has always been if you come with the intention of establishing a state in Palestine over the local people, that there was going to be people who disagree with you. And what is the issue with that? Echo, Echo, I want you, I want you to understand my point. I don't have a problem with you leaving me here in peace. No, if you but don't you don't have a problem. Have a problem if, if, you, if, if you don't have a problem living here with me in peace. Yeah, stop up. If you, but if you, here's hold the hold on, 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 echo, You echo, don't echo. agree on peace. You don't echo. agree what peace is. Echo, echo, echo. Do you agree? Do you think mm -hmm. you and I can live here? Do you think you and I can live here together peacefully? Because I'm, I don't so know where I, you're I don't know. I don't know your personal views. I don't know your personal views. Because, like, if you're a religious person, you're my neighbor, I think we're going to have a lot of disagreements. I play very loud music. But I don't know about you personally, but I don't have an issue living with people who want peace. But here's the reality. A lot of Israelis are not interested in that. The state is not interested in that. The government is not interested in that. So when you say, well, I want peace, your version of peace is keeping Palestinians oppressed in the West Bank and Gaza, using them for cheap labor. And then, you know, if they resist any sort of military occupation, then, you know, we deserve to get massacred. But we have echo, very different echo, definitions uh, of peace. Uh, 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 echo the people in Gaza if 30,000 people cross daily the border from Gaza to Israel to work and, and yeah, finance their babies. Why isn't, Hamas, why isn't Hamas providing them with work, with jobs? Why, why are they doing it? I'll tell you. Please yeah, do. Number one. Yeah. So I don't under, I don't think you understand what oppression is, you know, what oppression actually means. They are oppressed because, by Hamas. Let me finish this. You can angry. oppress, you can oppress a people and still exploit them for cheap labor. That still happens. So, for example, we can look at the West Bank. The West Bank is occupied. The people there are oppressed, yet thousands of workers cross into Israel. 
they're not mutually exclusive things. You could have an oppressed population still work for its oppressor. Like, mm -hmm. for example, in South Africa, the people were under apartheid, yet they worked for the government. They worked with them. They hired them. They built cities with them. It doesn't mean that they weren't oppressed. It doesn't mean that they weren't under occupation. It's ridiculous to even assume that, dude. I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I, I don't think Gaza is under occupation. I really okay. don't. Honestly, I don't think I don't think Gaza is occupied. You know why I don't think that? Because Israel withdrew its forces from the Gaza Strip in 2005. They gave them complete sovereignty. They they and, and by the way, if you guys think that uh, Gaza doesn't have electricity, I can promise you that Hamas does have electricity. The Sahar, only people who don't have are are the innocent Palestinian civilians. These are yeah, the people that Sahar, don't have. That, let me that, ask that you something. Yes, when you ahead. say they gave Gaza full sovereignty, what does that mean? To you, they, what is they, the full sovereignty they, in town? They, they took they took eight thousand people out of their homes. It's called uh, a yeah. disengagement in two thousand five. Sure yeah. to, uh, they took all their people. That they they withdrew all their forces. They said, "Go ahead, run yourself." What did they do a year yeah. later? Yeah. So that's them. okay, they but that's not what necessarily sovereignty is. Like for example, right? Um, in South Africa. You know, and I love bringing up this example because it's the clearest cut example of apartheid. The South African apartheid state withdrew from the Bantustans. They said, hey, you Bantustans, you know, you guys have the right to self-determination. You guys are going to have your own sovereignty, right? But after they did that, they kept control over their economy. They kept control over what comes in or out. They kept control over their ID registry. I don't know if you know this, but Israel keeps complete control of the ID registry in Gaza. If you get married in Gaza, your papers go through Israel. If you have an ID in Gaza, your papers go through Israel. If you want to get a, say, a phone into Gaza, Israel knows about it. If you want to do all of these things, it has to go through Israel. So when you say, oh, well, they give them full autonomy, it's not really true. But the because thing is... they are not allowed. They're restricted, all of these things. And this is before Hamas took over, by the way, because you said 2005, the blockade was put from 2005 temporarily, and it was only made permanent after Hamas took over. There was a blockade before that. But Palestine is in a country. It's a legalized state. Israel is the country around okay. What Palestine. is a country and what is a state? Okay, when you say that's not a, a state country, is in Palestine. it's a state. Just like how in America there is, mm -hmm. I think the two states right now, Alabama and Florida, mm -hmm. right? Those are two separate states, but mm -hmm. it's the same country. Just like how you, when you apply for a loan, you apply for a loan with the U.S., right? Mm -hmm. You apply it under the U.S. So okay. in Israel, in Gaza, whenever you do something... Of course, if you do something wrong in Gaza, they can't really arrest you because they'd get shot. Okay, but the who is what? I don't think you get that. Outside of the U.S., state is synonymous with country. I think you need to get that point. It's only in the U.S. that you see, oh, well, Texas is its own state, but the United States is, you know, United States. Outside of that country, you, do, do you for example, France is a state. It's a country also. Israel is a state. It's a country also. They're not mutually exclusive. So mm -hmm. when you say, say state, what does that mean to you? It's a country, uh, you know, with a self-governed political entity. For example, or a state. Like Echo. these words are not mutually exclusive, dude. Echo, I, I, think, I think Israel should have complete, um, complete autonomy in what goes in and out of Gaza. Okay. The main but, you and said, but you said they... But you said they they're, sorry, sorry, it's like six in the morning. I haven't been here. You wait, said wait. that they deserve I, 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 autonomy. Uh, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me just finish my sentence so you don't t get it out of context. I, I do think Israel should have complete autonomy on what goes and what supplies go in and out of Gaza purely from the main from from the reason of not bringing grenade launchers, just like we found in the mm -hmm. Gaza Strip just now. Just uh, just because we want to make sure that they, they're not going to build terror tunnels with, with the supplies that they're getting because all the supplies that the Palestinians get, Hamas takes. And you have to understand, I don't have a problem with the Palestinian people. The only per people I have a problem with are Hamas. And you have to understand that I do not support the killing of the unaliving of innocent people. I do not. And you, you try to make, to, to, to uh, drive this narrative that we do care, that we don't care, but I do care. But you have to understand that th this whole situation happened because of terror attacks. Because th these terror attacks didn't start back in 2005. They started way before. What, what about the mm -hmm. first intifada? What about the second intifada? What about the ninth okay. intifada? Okay, Sahar, I, there is a big misconception that I always see right when I argue.